Hi everyone and welcome back to Necromunda Build v Vlog Part 10. Yes, we've made it to double figures. I've been whacking on with bits. We've done the tin can generator. I've got another tin can to paint. Starting on some bridge bits and stuff. Um, I thought it was time to lay it out on the board. Have a look at it. Uh, work out exactly what we need. So, let's get down to the board and have a look where we're at. Right. So here we have the board. Obviously there's bridges and bits missing at the moment. So let's have a look what we've got. We have the toxic pool. So the storage area. That's the video for that one's in the neck effect section on the channel. Just thought I'll put some barrels around. Gotta paint these up. Some little barrel stacks with wedges. Got some cooling towers. A tin can. A hatch. So I've got to paint that one up. Two towers here, obviously not painted. Probably put a platform through the middle, steps going up, maybe a platform in behind. We've got the bridge part there that's built. We'll probably look at that in a minute. Tin can we saw in a pre previous video. Other tower, big generator tower. I'm not stuck the top on because I want to paint the fan inside first. Then we have our building. So I've just stuck some bits of wall on the top to give an idea of what I'll probably do, just to give some defensive positions or barrels got these ones much like a glass panels either side little platform and set a ladder either side because what I'll probably do is cut some more pipes and use these as bridges so I'll probably have two or three of them a couple of blast panels there in the middle there's another cooling tower which I sprayed up in red oxide and I'll uh, colour up in a minute, we'll have a look at the pipe on the other one to see how it looks once it gets mottled up. A couple of chemical barrels. The big piece here, let's see if I can come out. So we have a central light cauldron. This centre piece here, I've got my fingernail under it, comes out. So I'll probably drop a tea light in there. I'll put one set of dowels in. Just have a look. Obviously, I haven't stuck all this because what I will do is spray it first. So I'll spray all the pipes up in oxide and weather them up, and I'll paint all the ends and the centre separate. Then just put it all together, glue it, and then need some hot glue just to put some weld lines to secure the joins. I also put a clamp in the little clip in the middle of the pipes just to break it up a bit, which is like the one over here. So if I move around that side of the table, we can have a proper look at that piece. So we have two cooling tower made of beer cans. Yes, so I did enjoy the beer. And if I move the stairs out of the way because they're not fitted. This is the oxide pipe, but as you can see, just by giving it a touch with a sponge with some brown paint and some orange paint, just breaks it up. That's a real solid unit. The ends here, I haven't put any plugs in because what I'm going to do is put a magnet in here and here then we'll have another platform coming out a little bit uh, ladder up a little protective panel here and maybe a little console here I'm going to put some lights and some more wall sections in here so I have one here one this side same this side this one here will link back to that one which will link back to that one I've um, got to work out how you actually get to them, so I'll probably just have a ladder and maybe a little platform in. Because you can't really get around these and they don't actually line up to lock platforms in to make a walkway round. Which is a bit of a shame, but I'm sure I can work around that. I do want to do another tier at some point to actually go up another level. So I've got some Pringle tubes. Good old trusty Pringle tubes. So I'll build a platform at the level we got here then we'll have another set of ladders that go up to the next level that I'm leaving until after the tables done get everything done that's here so we've got a playable table and if time allows I'll start cracking on with them or I'll crack on with them after the game and add to it we've got things like cargo lifts and stuff to put in and pulleys and all sorts but it's sort of picking the point of is this playable am I going to get it done in time because time is ticking. So, 
bit more of a different view this side so you can see I am put the lights on today but as you know there's lights all in that section and there's a blue strip light across the top on this side I'm trying to avoid covering the nice bit of the mat in the middle there hence once the walls are painted up I might even put some low walls around it as well sort of cooling it off a little bit sort of no you don't want to walk on there unsafe not that it's exactly much safer outside, we're in the middle of a gang war, but hey, um, please give us your thoughts, any ideas, anything you're thinking of. Um, obviously I'll get some more pipes cut up, I some more, might do some green ones or something, just a couple more pipes to put around the board. And walkways over the top as I've said. Just trying to split up, trying to you might go, oh this is overcrowded, I want to make it. A nightmare for moving around in the point of view I don't want big open line of sight because the range is quite big in Necromunda um, and Goliaths really do better at getting in there and whacking things where the Escher tend to sit back and pick off and also they're very quick with their swift move so they can close ground quite fast so it's trying to balance the play of the table up between the two gangs a little bit Obviously when we bring other gangs in, might have to adjust a few bits on the table to level it a little bit. Um, also, to be fair, it's going to be down to who places first, etc. as well, and whatever scenario you're playing, because things will vary. Um, give us your thoughts, any ideas, do you like how it's coming on, etc. And I'm going to stick the camera up and we can have a chat. I'll just stand up so you can have a quick look from this angle. Oh, there you go. A bit of short task makes this actually quite hard. Right, I'll put the camera up. Right, there you have it. That's where we are at the moment. Things are starting to come together. I can see the end in sight. I see it's having a playable table. Um, looking forward to it. It's coming on great. And looking forward to this weekend because Forge Bane's out. So there's something else to start playing with. And Consider the mystery of where the hell am I going to put it when I built it. I bet I'm not the only one out there. I bet we all go, yay, but then come home and this. So, boy, you plan to put that? I'll find somewhere it'll be all right. <laughs> you know what it's like. Um, also, thank you to all the new subscribers. Support's greatly appreciated. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, share, subscribe, get it out there. Obviously, I'll share it to a few groups and that, but I don't know all the groups and or even your local community groups and things like that if you think they'd be interested. Um, I will be looking at doing some of the 3D print stuff that I have licenses for that people can get off me myself. Or obviously you can buy the files direct from Necroplex. Um, loving the system. As you can see it's coming on well. There's some Necroplex, most of it's Necroplex here but there is some printable scenery stuff on the table as well. Which is another great system. Um, the generator tower is a big print and takes a long time. The Necroplex stuff is all quite small stuff. You can split it down and do little runs of bits if you want to. I then just load the build plate up and say, right, off you go. I'll be back later. And fingers crossed it's actually printed properly. Well, I do stick the head in occasionally. Yeah, it's doing alright. Trouble is you stick your head in and look at a printer yourself again. Now I bet I'm not the only one. Right, that's it for this week. I better crack on and get the paintbrush out because there's a lot of white plastic on this table. And I'll see you all soon. Take care, have a good week gaming. Cheers.